I'm Vanessa Kier. Welcome to my video, Installing URLs Using Softaculas. What is URLs? URLs stands for Your Own URL Shortener. It's a free URL shortener that you install on your self-hosted website. Why would you want to use URLs instead of a site like bit.ly or tiny.cc? Well, first of all, it gives you branded URLs for free. So the entire URL is just going to be whatever um, domain name you purchased and are using for your URLs installation. You're in control. So you don't have to worry about another company going out of business and then all of a sudden all of your URLs are dead. And it has good metrics. So not only does it show you how many clicks you get, but it will show you where those clicks came from. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install using Softaculous via cPanel. For instructions on how to install manually without Softaculous, see the urls.org website. And just a warning, it does take some degree of technical know-how in order to install it manually. You have to be comfortable making things like a MySQL database. Before you install, you need a self-hosted website that uses cPanel. To create the shortest URLs, buy a short domain name and use that to host URLs. So I bought vkir.info and I set that up and that is the site on which I run URLs and I don't run anything else. All right, in order to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to our web hosts admin login and go to our cPanel dashboard. Okay, so here I am in my web hosts cPanel and I need to scroll down until I see software. And then down here it says Softaculous Apps Installer. And I click on that. And here I am in the Softaculous dashboard. And I'm just going to type URLs in this search bar on the left. And I didn't even have to finish typing it before URLs pops up. And here is the URLs main install screen. So you can see that if you're not familiar with what URLs does, there are a variety of tabs here to give you information about it. But I'm just gonna go down here to the install now. All right, here is the URLs software setup screen. And as you can see, you need to choose a protocol. So this is just basically whether or not you're using HTTPS or not. Here's a drop down, And if you're going to be using this for short URLs, obviously you don't want to choose the www option. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Your domain, I've already installed this on the vkir.info. So for this purpose, I'm using my other domain name here but um, you would put in your short domain there. And then in directory, it automatically wants to create a URLs directory. But if you're not installing anything else on this um, domain name, then you can go ahead and just delete this and have no directory. Again, that will make it shorter for your URLs. If you are, for example, installing this in the same domain that you have, say, WordPress, you will need to create a subdirectory, but then that subdirectory becomes part of the short URL. So you would want to maybe create something that would be um, a directory called maybe you for URLs, which is what I had at my um, Vanessa Keir site. But in this demo, we're just not going to have a directory. Then we go down to our site settings. You can give your site any name you want. And then down here, you fill out all the information for your admin account. And then there's just one more thing that you would want to perhaps check if the option is available to you. That is to go into advanced options 
and I have um, deleted the database name and the table prefix for privacy reasons, but I would suggest that you might want to tick the box for auto upgrade to make sure that you get upgrades when they're available. And then you can go down and enter an email address for getting the installation details in case something goes wrong. And then you can go ahead and click install. So once you hit install, you get the progress and then you get this congratulations screen and your admin information here. As you'll notice, I did go ahead and end up adding the U as a directory for this because I have already installed WordPress at this site and WordPress has an HT access file and so if I tried to install URLs into the same directory there would be a conflict and Software Coolest would not let me continue. So this now gives me my um, admin login information and obviously the option to tweet about it. So next what we want to do is if you're going to be using several short URLs but directing those to the same long URL, then you need to make a tiny tweak to the config.php file. And the reason for this is um, the default for URLs is that you have a one-to-one -one relationship. But as writers, maybe we want to create a short URL that says this URL went with a Twitter post and this URL went with a Facebook post and this URL was put on my blog, but they're all directing to the same Amazon page. So we want to be able to have that flexibility. So we need to make this tweak that I'm going to show you now. And it may sound a little scary, but it's really not that bad. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our cPanel. Okay, now here we are in our cPanel and what we want to do is we want to go into our file manager. So here is the file manager. And what I've done is I've gone into my vkir.info so I can show you what it will look like if you have installed URLs without a directory. So you want to go down to your public HTML and then you want to go down to user. And then you want to go and you want to look at this config.php file and you should be able to click on it and then there should be an option up top to edit it. And we're gonna go ahead and edit that. Now you can see here, I get a message warning me that if I don't know what I'm doing, this could be a problem. So this is an encoding check, but since we're not playing with any of the character sets or the coding, we're just working in English, we can go ahead and disable that. So this is what the config.php file looks like. What you want to do is you want to go down and look for the URL's unique URLs. And as you can see here, it is set to true. That means you can only have one short URL for one long URL. So we're just gonna change this to false. And then we're going to save it. And then you're done. If you have installed URLs in a subdirectory, such as I had to do for my example, which was the U short directory, again, you will go to your file manager, go down to public, but then you want to look for the U directory. And then you want to scroll down to user. And then again, you'll just be editing the config dot PHP file. All right, so that is the end of my demonstration on how to install URLs using Softaculous. In summary, log into your host's cPanel, choose Softaculous, install URLs. Then, if you want to make sure that you get um, the option to have multiple short links for the same long URL, you need to access the user 
forward slash config.php file and change urls underscore unique underscore urls value from true to false using urls. For information on how to use urls, look for part four of my evergreen links for author series. Until next time, happy writing. Bye.